for those of you who watched uh, Chook's live stream last night, you will know that we are going bow hunting um, for ptarmigan and other small game. I don't know exactly where we're going to end up at yet, and I'm currently driving, so please excuse my eyeballs looking around. It is uh, fairly dark out still. And the last thing I want is that moose to ambush me from the side of the road. But uh, I am keeping my eyes open, all jokes aside. The, uh, we're going in vicinity of Fort Rich, probably onto Fort Rich. And I am very eager for this. I haven't, got, I haven't had my bow out and shot anything more than uh, the uh, target block for several years. I'm gonna laugh because it's probably, string's probably gonna snap and cut my face. But that'll be uh, fun for you guys, not so fun for me. And then uh, once we get there and we get a plan of action worked out, we will get back with you guys. So after uh, about 30 minutes to get everything figured out, like the iSportsman website wouldn't let me sign on from my phone, figuring a few other things out, we actually had to go to a different gate but uh, we went to the 24 hour gate and got all of that stuff dealt with. And we are now on the road up to the area that we want to go into. We're still gonna have to figure this out. Uh, both myself and uh, one of the other guys who's going with us have never been up here before. Chuke's been here a couple of times, so we're kind of following his lead. And here we are, we're actually crossing south to north across the uh, Glen. here at the area we are hunting in. There's a snow machine slash hiking trail just to Chooks back there, my, the left of the screen. Pan around hunting the power lines here. The uh, I found out another problem and that's that the cold had an extreme effect on the noise that the focus on my camera created. Again, looks like it's time for me to update some of my gear. Um, as well as some of the, the bow when I talk about that in the after action in the next video. Thanks. So time to get back into uh, the truck. We saw exactly zero. Nothing. Um, we went on a lot of trails, went and walked uh, both trails and power lines, drove up the road from where we are now all the way up to uh, the Arctic Valley ski area, which is closed, but we're just scouting out to see what was up there. We got a lot of nothing today, but it was a good chance to, you know, meet with Chook and uh, his buddy who are up here. So, you know, networking that area, getting good to see him. Um, talked about some future stuff that, you know, we might get to go do or, you know, kind of pooling resources to figure it out. Uh, Hamhart, no, you couldn't be here, but uh, Mr. Bud and Chuck, same thing, man. Mr. Bud, come up here next time we get a chance. As I was driving back over towards the valley from Anchorage while I was on the, the Glen Highway still in Anchorage, it's driving fine. Wind was almost nothing, not a lot of snow at all. As I was coming, uh, for anybody who sees it coming across the hay flats, it was good. And then once I got to the split, the uh, Palmer Wasilla split where the park splits off the Glen, my rear end started getting blown around. I don't know how much the winds are. I'd probably say the winds are somewhere in the vicinity of, I don't know, 30 to 50, depending on where you're at. And uh, I actually, the whole truck moved sideways. And right now, you can see what it's looking like here. Out in the valley, it's pretty stiff. And they've already uh, plowed the roads once. And you can see that's, there in the middle, there, that's probably another six inches that's blown up there. It's going to be an interesting one. Looks like I'm going to have my work cut out for me. As soon as I get home, looks like I'm going to have to uh, get to plowing. 